go. I look at my country, Cameroon. Uh huh. I see all the genres. Uh huh. Where the rappers at? I gotta ask this question. Where all the rappers? My nigga out here being disrespectful, man. Like ain't no book of rapping not in Cameroon. This ain't about views and likes, man. This is about bars. your boy DK hey I'm rocking with you and I know you're watching us so you're rocking with us too man come on man hey yo stop playing next up on the docket oh my god yo I got my main man Kim B swag all the way from Camille yes. Cameroon was good man, he dropped a freestyle called rap identity you feel me yeah yeah we about to break that shit down man so without further ado what's good Kim B uh, yo, my country had a perfect That's foundation it. when it comes to hip hop and rap music. Ah. But somewhere along the line, ah. we fell off. My nigga, hey, you know what? I made you a promise, so I'm gonna keep my promise. Yeah. No more Jovi talk. Please, please <laughs> don't. But I think, I think, listen, one last Jovi talk I wanna say, you should try to have him on your show. Try to interview Jovi. I don't know if you'll come. You think he'll come? No, no. He should. He he gonna come. He his I think he's just he's just a very private person. He's just a very private person. At the end of the day, all over my interview, we've been talking about Joby. So at the end of the day, his name is India. So I mean, come. I just I just feel like he not because like if you ever see my reactions to his songs, it's not. No, he will one. come. Okay. He's not, he's not really an outgoing type of person. He's not an extrovert. Jovi, that's what I discovered. He's not. You don't see him out a lot. You don't see him. Like, you can hear him on Twitter, but you will not see him out a lot. Because, first of all, he's a producer. Okay. So, producers have this, this solitary lifestyle. He's always thinking. He's a, he's a, he's a gifted person, so he's always thinking. Yeah. You feel me? Try to make a beat or rap. So, he, he has a lot in his shoulder, uh, on his shoulders. So, try to talk to him. I think it'll be good. It will be, man, because, you know, like, honestly, like, he does the type of rap music that I personally don't like. I, I fuck with his beats. His beats are dope, but... Yeah, okay. Just call him over and then talk about his beat and then... That's how it is. The Breakfast Club, Chal Charlemagne the God, uh -huh. be going, going up a nigga's grills, be going under nigga's skins. Charlemagne the God be, be crucifying niggas on the Breakfast Club, but at the end of the day, it's a show, and boom. Okay. Hey, hey man, shout out to Jovi, man. I'll see if I can get you on here, bro. Let's go. Word, word. <laughs> so I feel right, entitled to bring that shit back, and I'm gonna do it. This song, this song, this song, this this beat. You killed this beat, yo. You killed this beat. I remember this. You killed Thank this you. right here. Thanks, With this 305 Universal shit. It's who was, wait, who was this beat again? Who did you use on this beat? Uh, which sample was this? That's um, that's a Casanova beat. Casanova, oh okay, yeah, this was dope, man. You killed it. That's it. Lucio, I'm a real nigga. Casanova. I, yeah, I know Casanova. Fuck boy, don't run. I know Casanova. Yeah. yeah, he did a song with even Devito, I think. Uh, he did. Yeah, he did a song with Devito. He shot in Nigeria too. The video, he, he shot a video in Nigeria. Now nah, he was in Nigeria. Yeah, he was in Nigeria with them hyenas and shit. Yeah, the hyenas. Yeah, that's that song. So you see how you see how these Afro pop niggas be loving rappers. Yeah. You feel me? Like yeah. they like to carry their rap swagger, but but um then when it comes to promoting rap, they, they don't. I'm not talking about Devito because Devito has promoted rap a lot. Devito has has done songs with Nasty C. Yeah, has done Whiskey has promoted rap a lot. It's some of these niggas, that's what we need in Cameroon. Even these Afro pop niggas. Yeah, facts. Should start yeah, yeah. co-signing rappers. Like go get together with rappers and put your country on the map. I I totally and then, agree. And, I don't know if this is going to be on the end. If people are going to watch this too. Yeah, no, no, this is going to be separate. I'm going to cut it out. But yeah, this is going to, people are going to watch this as a reaction. I, I just want to say, again, West Africa or Africa as a whole is really, is really small when it comes to us communicating. Yeah. You should, Caldenero has showed these niggas, get out of your comfort zone, leave your country, go to another country, a smaller country when it comes to showbiz. And collaborate with somebody talented from that country. Stop being selfish. And that's his problem. That's his problem. He hates these African, some of these giants that think.
They are, see Nigeria, for example, I love Nigeria. If you're in Cameroon, there's no way you're not affected by Nigeria. Yeah. We have supported all Nigerian from their movies to their culture, from their, from, from, from a movies, culture, music, and all that. We have bought all Nigerian stuff in Cameroon. We promoted all that. So it's funny when I hear a Nigerian producer or somebody saying, oh, they don't hear nothing um, in Nigeria from Cameroon. Because they don't want to play. How do you be in Africa? Nigeria is just the next. It's a neighboring country to Cameroon. That's For right. real. Like, like right there. Yeah. Nigeria from Cameroon. And you're telling me you don't want to play a Cameroonian song? You're telling me because Cameroon, we, we what? Nah, come on, man. Come on, man. I feel it. That should change. That should change. So shout out to Stanley Eno. He has done a couple of collabos. Uh, he's one of those people that always goes out of his comfort zone. Um, his, you know who Stanley Eno is? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you mentioned him too. Yeah, you, you should. Know. You mentioned you him a, a huge, lot, um, and then uh, I think you mentioned him as he, well in the, your Chakara interview as well. Yeah, I, I did. That's what I do, bro. I don't know these. These <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Let, yeah, let me go ahead. Yeah, Stanley. So, yeah, you talked Stanley about him. Like, he think, did a, he, wasn't he? Isn't that one beef with like? Lot, isn't he beefy with like Jovi huh? or something like that? Isn't he beefy with Jovi? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got, I, I don't, I don't know his songs like that, but I know, I know of him because you know I hear. No, him right now. He started as a as a rapper, but right now he's just like a showman. Okay. And at this level, he he should be a boss. He shouldn't even be making music. He should. Sign young artists, okay, and sign young artists to you know to his label and promote their songs. Just like Davido is starting to do right now. Yeah, Davido just signed a uh, Maydi to his you know label and, and so on. So what I'm trying to say is get out your comfort zone and do these features. I'm hoping to do features with Ghanaians. I have one, a feature with a Ghanaian K scheme. Nice. It's actually, yeah, I heard uh, that one. I heard that one too. Yeah, two kings. I, I think. It's I think in Canada, he's in, in the states or Canada. I've done one with him. I've done another one with uh, with another female from Sierra Leone, Quinn J. The title is Nemesis. You did a reaction, I did a reaction I to it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that one. No doubt, man. Um, so that's it. So I hit up. I hit Buck, Bucky Raw up. I don't know. I'm still waiting for a reply. I hit Bucky Raw. I'm open to do collabs with no Nigerian yet. Um, I'm still open. You feel me? I'm open to anything. Let's make hey, this yo, man, Listen, man, you a good rapper, man. So I think, don't worry, man. It's going to come to you. Trust me. I ain't, this is not me gassing you up. Just, no doubt. This, this just no my, doubt. Thank you. This is my, my honest opinion. I think, I think you're good on the mic, man. You're good. I'm back from hell. It's a prison. I bring fire. I'm from the bottom. It's likely I aim higher. Nah. The game is super sold, but not to the same fire. Nah. LeBron King, I need a motherfucking ring. Nah. I'm gone, no talk. I let the motherfucking sing. Nah. I sit back and do my motherfucking thing. My whole crew shining. We motherfucking play. Nah. Nah. Under the trees, freestyling. That's cool. The host the big house parties, girls playing in the pool. Hey. Talking to Tell me about the shorties, yeah, man. Tell me about the shorties, man. What's up? <laughs> Tell me about the shorties, um, man. <laughs> it's just a story. It's just a story. <laughs> anyway, if, if it's one thing me and Kale Dinero got in common, we like we like big booty. We like big booty African women. <laughs> That's probably one thing. Another thing we got in common. He said that in his in his song, and you heard it. Oh, um, BBW, big so booty I'd woman. Say, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just me appreciating, appreciating my, you know, my African woman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. When, I, when I was in school, right, I had a bunch of Cameroonian, uh, Cameroonian girls and shit like that in my school, man. They, they call it Cameroonian cargo. And I'm like, yo, what yeah. the fuck is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look like Cameroonian what cargo, man. I, I, I saw the tip, man. See? What you mean, what did I see? <laughs> <laughs> Cameroon, Cameroon blessed with these women, man. You know what I mean? Got beautiful women out here. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you. And I work a couple. I work. Same. A, I work with a couple of them too. So I've been seeing that shit. Mm. And not just not just Cameroon. I'm just saying like, um, Ghana. Uh, nah. a Ghana got beautiful women identical as Cameroon, Nigeria. But I think I think, I think Ghana got a fat ass ass though. The girl Ghanaian girls got a fat ass ass, bro. Listen, I, Ghana I, got ass. I can't even <laughs> lie to you. I got I got I got this cousin of mine that went to um school in Ghana, uh -huh. and he used to hit me up like, "Yo, nigga, you think you're seeing booty?" Man, come to Ghana. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the like, yeah, they got crazy. crazy over here. I'm like, damn, I'm on my way. <laughs> Let's so, go, man. Somebody told, 
Somebody tell Manifest, man. Hey, yo. Give me a couple of them big booties. Somebody you, tell Manifest and them other niggas. Like, yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Hit me up. Would you Hook be the open to? Up. Would you be open to doing like some shit with Loku Joe, man? You know, Loku Joe. Now nah, we kind of cool, man. Yeah, I mean. Um, this is a question that I have heard again and again. And then this um, part, this part, I can take this part out to you. It ain't got to be. It yeah, let yeah. Me, let, no, don't take it out. It's, it's all good. Okay. Oh, um, as I said, shout out to local Joe, man. It wasn't as far as he, as far as he apologized for what he did. Who am I not to forgive him? Like, who am I? We got to let that, that shit slide. Yeah. This is not like, I think I, I'm, I am open to doing it, a collab with him. I could. Yeah. Why and not? And you know, Little Good Joe is very young too, man. Like, I don't know if you know. And he's like, young too. That's and, another thing. He's, and, he's a young cat. There's a, a lot of other cats in Cameroon that be doing dumb shit too. Yeah. Why should we, you know, like, he's apologizing. That should be. He young, I man. think I, I'm going to I'm gonna bring him to Cameroon. Yo, he has hella, he has hella, you know, I, I heard you talking about most of your fans is, is in, in Sierra Leone. I think most of his fans in Cameroon, man. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got fans in Cameroon. Yeah, and he, he, he got fans. In he Cameroon. young man. He's like twenty four or something like that. He's a young cat, you know. <laughs> so I mean, he probably just Google that shit, and he just saw because I don't think even like the like young thing. I don't even know he was born when that shit happened. You feel me? Anyways, man, that's me. Nah, yeah, he probably was not even born. So it's all good. He apologized, and it's good. I I, I can't do a feature with him. Yeah. Why not? I can't. Right, shout out to man. him though. Yeah, shout out to um. I need to shout hit, out to him, man. I need to hit him up too, yeah, because uh, he drops he drops a a project every every year around August fifth for his birthday, and it is approaching. All right. like, maybe I probably need to get him on here. But anyways, let's move on, bro. All right, word. Talking to me, yeah, I'm talking to you. How many young niggas you brung up for the shit that you do? I brought a lot of. That's the part I want to fucking talk to you about. He's gonna hit that. I know he was. That was the part. (laughs) (laughs) That was the part because you know what, my main man, Lyrical Joe, said the same shit about you know who. Don't come on, man. Come on. All right, let's move on. on. Let's just move on. I'm not gonna say nothing about that. that I'm not gonna say nothing about him. All right, let's move on. Unless, <laughs> unless he say something foul about me, and then I'm, you you gonna hit me up and boom, then it's on. So this this right here, I feel like this is a you know what I I'm not gonna I'm not part of me part of me want to stir this shit up, but part of me also wanna wanna see you succeed in Cameroon, and I know you got hella fans, so I don't know. I'm a little conflicted, but. The, f- the fact is, it, it sounds like you you are here, man, taking jabs on my man, man, Jovi. You know, <laughs> like, I mean, let's just call it spade a spade, my nigga. You like, promise not to, you promise not to bring him up. But you I promise know, not to bring him I know you, up. I know you're going to say some shit like this, neither. <laughs> no, it was, like, it was never for him. When I said that, it was for all, all, like, all of the, the pioneers, no, nah, not the pioneers, all of the, the bosses of record labels in Cameroon, all of those that have attained a certain level of success. Uh-huh. And how many young niggas have you brought up? And if you're talking about that, he has brought up a couple of niggas, okay. even though it didn't end up good that he has. But then that's not for me to speak. I don't know much about it. But then it's niggas that have brought up nobody. And Cameroon has the attitude of not bringing, like our, you know, those who are up there have an attitude of not bringing up you know, others. Okay. And Luke Joe talked about the same situation too in Ghana. He, he got a song, I think, uh, I forgot the name of that song, when he talked about Ghanaians not, not supporting each other and now yeah, We all yeah, have these yeah. problems. Same in Sierra Leone. It was the same shit in Nigeria before they changed. But Nigeria was lucky because when they came up, we all loved Nigeria and then we promoted them, thinking, okay, these are our brothers. And, but now they're up there, it's the turn. To help these countries around them. Nigeria, open those doors, man. <laughs> I used to visit Nigeria. That's my country, too. Fact. Damn. Open, open right. those doors. All right, so you question it. You question ah. people, man. How many other young rappers you brought up, man? And you ain't not name dropping nobody. He just speaking in general terms. You feel me? If you're big and out there, yo, do what the fuck Sao Cody is doing. He hop on young people's uh, music. And then he help him out, bro. So, you know... If you're a big man, if you're a mainstream rapper, mainstream musician, whatever your art and your craft is, 
support the people who are coming up, man. They are the next generation. You're not gonna be on top forever, man. Word. Talking Word. to me, yeah, I'm talking to you. How many young niggas you brung up for the shit that you do? I brought a lot of young niggas up. Show them how to write raps. If they get attacked, I show them how to fight back. Mm. Tell them the best thing, family. You can't fight that. Uh. You is not the top of nigga. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. I'm under not overrated. Yeah. I gave these niggas too much. I overgraded. Uh -huh. Needed for you to say I was king. I overweighted. I picked myself up. I saw the price and I paid it. Yeah. I'm a thriller with this microphone. African king of pop. I brought Michael Jackson home. Ooh. See, I'm a heavy. Talk your motherfucking <laughs> shit. That's the tightest line. That's the tightest line of the whole. I'm telling you. Song. I'm telling you. Hey, tell us, man. Song. Tell us shit in a cappella. I don't even know where that came from. It's like my ancestors probably just put that in the head and like, boom, okay. I don't know where that came from. I can't lie, lie. My nigga said, yeah, uh, the kid of uh, rap, what? I bring Michael Jackson back. What? <laughs> play that shit back. Play, play, play that, that shit back. back. Play that shit back, yeah. Thriller with this, my say. I pick myself up. I'm a thriller. I'm a thriller. I'm a thriller. I'm a thriller with this microphone. I'm a thriller with King of Bone. I brought Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson home. I brought Michael Jackson. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I'm a king of thriller on this mic. You know what I'm saying? I'm a thriller. Like yeah. my, Michael Jackson thriller. Yeah, I know. I'm a thriller with this microphone. Uh -huh. The African King of Pop. Yeah. King of Pop. I brought Michael Jackson home. That's yeah. Michael Jackson Africa. For real. Man. And Ayo, they talking man. about an African cannot do hip hop. As an American, are you kidding me? Hey, yo, my they G. Stop playing. Let, let, let me talk my shit on that verse, right? That that little fucking bar right there, y'all. Go, that shit was barred. Yeah, this this the part that you go bars. Man, <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck up and listen to bars. Hey, yo, my nigga said he's fr he's a thriller. Let me bring this shit back before I break this shit down. Let me dissect this shit. A thriller with the microphone. I'm a thriller with this microphone. African king of pop. I brought Michael Jackson home. Man, yo, my nigga said he a beast on this shit, man. He's scary with this shit. Alright? He a fucking nightmare with this shit, man. Nigga, if you don't understand what the fuck a thriller means, yo, Google that shit. And then put Michael Jackson's name in the front of my fucker, yo. You see your hey yo, man, stop playing with this man right here. He nice with this shit. <laughs> OMG. Word. Hey yo, Kim B, man. You done did it again. You done did it again. Let's go. See, I'm a heavyweight. See, I'm Larry Holmes. Oh Get shit, money. oh I shit. Brought, I brought Michael Jackson home. See, I'm a heavyweight. See, I'm Larry Holmes. Uh -huh. Getting this money, I won't stop. Sean did it, comes. Going African, uh -huh. I'm like I'm American. Uh -huh. I saw designer, so my body, I'm like a mannequin. Hey. I don't live, I'm shook. Yo, that was funny line, though, yo. <laughs> All the designers <laughs> on my body, I'm a mannequin. Come on, chap. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You, feel me? you see, I'm a heavyweight. Like I'm, I'm a Larry a Holmes. You know, I'm, I'm getting... a heavyweight. Uh huh. I feel like Larry Holmes. Uh -huh. You know, you feel me? Go on, go on. I won't like. I'm getting this money. I won't stop. Sean Diddy comes. Yeah, man. you know, Diddy money yeah. won't stop. Diddy used to say won't stop a lot. Yeah, you feel me? Won't stop. Can't stop. Won't, won't stop. stop. It used to be his catchphrase. Yeah. So. You feel me? I, I I'm I'm getting. I, I won't stop like until I get this money. Word. You know, I'm a heavyweight like Larry Holmes getting his money. I won't stop Sean Diddy Combs. I'm born African, but uh -huh. I rhyme like I'm American. American. Yeah. Assorted designers on my body. I'm like a, a mannequin. mannequin. Yeah. If I don't if I don't if I don't look, live I'm shook, guarantee I live a panicking. Ooh. Industry niggas. They shivering. Came war, not They're shivering, my nigga. Come on, chill. Stop playing with them. You're killing them. You're killing them. Let's get it. Like, <laughs> I think, I think, I think like it's gonna be a time when we're going to need to start putting these bars on the ground and, and count yeah. these metaphors, these similes, Word. these punchlines. I think you you should start a new program, add it to you, because you're the first to do this type right now. You're the first to call the artist and break down his bars. Nice. So before somebody copy, before somebody copy that, you're the first doing it in, in Africa right now. So I think you should extend your, your show by doing this. And we're going to put the bars down and count them. Ah. In case these niggas want to call themselves See, rappers. Yeah, they're talking about, yeah, I dropped a 32, man. That's just like five. Come on, y'all. You're right. You're right, man. It's Let's so go, me. man. And yo, shout out to, I, I interviewed Natasha Beckley yesterday, man. I broke down his bars with her too, man, yesterday. Let's go. Oh, word? Yeah, yeah. man. Yo, she nice, man. She nice. I should, I think I should, I should check her out. Where's she from? She's from Sierra Leone. Oh. She, uh, so look, listen. You know, you, have you bro, seen how she look? 
has, has you said, Sierra Leone is, is going to be like, uh, how do I say this? It's going to be like a Zion of hip hop in Africa pretty soon. I'm telling you, man. Let me show you how she looks. And look, it wasn't. Let me show you how this she This is look. why. It, you see how she looks? Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, what's she, up, man? What's she, up, Natasha? And she uh, with you. Oh yo, check her out, man. I'ma send you a uh, her freestyle. Hey, she nice, uh, man. She nice, uh, yo. Maybe she stuck out here in the states. Uh, uh, I think she's in the she's, uh, she's in the she's so, the government. So this is this is this is she's where she at? She's in the gov. I think she works in the government too in the in Sierra Leone as well, yo. She's um. A councilwoman or some shit like that, man. She she got wow. yeah, wow. And, she, and she's a mean rapper, man. She's a mean rapper. Uh, Play, um, I'm gonna need her. I'm gonna need her handles. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna talk I'm gonna, to the general. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna talk to the general Camden Arrow about that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to send you uh, Natasha. Her name is Natasha Beckley. I'm gonna send you her freestyle dream. She did a freestyle on Dreams and Nightmare. Uh, you know Dreams and Nightmare. McMill. Yeah, McMill. Yo, I thought she, Yeah, she did. She, uh, it's it's not it's not a easy it's not an easy beat to kill, but I think she did a good job. It's not it's not trust me. Um, but for her, it's, it's not. She I think she did a good job, man. So let me let me send you so that. So check it out. Sierra Leone was not always popular on, on rap music until Cal De Niro, you know, put his put his life on the line, blood, sweat, and tears, and until it became what it is. Yeah. So people, they better put respect on his name. They put, Africa got to recognize him. Word. Got to recognize him the never, trust me. And Kenya, Kenya is good on rap too. It's, it's another destination for rap, but they got to open the doors. They're so secluded and, and they just want to hide down there in East Africa and do their things in Swahili. But come on, man, your brothers are out here. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata, man. Hey, yo, I fuck with Kenya rap, y'all. I don't be I don't be understanding shit, but that should be sounding mad nice on the beat. Yo, that's why he yeah. on a hip hop beat. Ooh, let's get it. Yeah. Guarantee I leave them panicking. Industry niggas that came for war, not to finish it. That was summer watch, that was summer chain wall. Just to make it match, that was summer rain wall. Woo! See, we roll heavy like September rains wall. Woo! Whoa, whoa, ah. whoa, I say. Ah. That was summer watch, that hey. was summer chain wall. That right there, yeah, that should be a hook, man. That should be a hook on some dance song, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't. That, that should be I a I wasn't. I didn't want to put a hook. That's just, that was just like a. I just slowed it down it's to like, let people chill. Yeah, it's Since like it was it's, eight I, minutes. I know it's like so a I needed bridge. people to breathe. Yeah, I know it's like a bridge. And I'm telling you, man. If your manager is listening, yo, shout out to Raj, man. Tell this nigga to put that part on the fucking danceable music and let him kill it. I'm just saying. Man. He, 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 he can hear you. The nigga Raj over here. He can hear you. Hey, Raj, man. I'm he telling you, yo, diamonds on my neck, diamonds on my chain. Whoa, that's he shit. on that PlayStation shit. <laughs> nigga Raj on that PlayStation shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that, that that is like that little bridge. That was that was dope, man. It could be a hook, man. So I don't get we that should have well, okay, right, go ahead. Alright. One second. Diamond summer watch, diamond summer chain wall. Just to make it match, diamond summer rain wall. See we roll heavy and hey. September rains wall. Hey. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hell. My whole team ready to die with something like the Spartans. It's up a niggas funny like Lawrence. I call him Martin. Ah. You're telling me you're rap, man. I beg your pardon. I'm the only <laughs> shit here like the crops in the garden. Let's go. Hey yo, man. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's let's just ride this. Show. Talk. Let's talk. Let's go. Let's go. Because you know it comes back to the same shit. Let's I'm just. Go. <laughs> Who knows? One day you're gonna get your answer. Just chill. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Mm. The original Mama Yan. Hey, show me why the way you want to. Me put down my tongue and never make me put my tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me why you want to. Me put down my tongue and never make me put my tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me why you want to. Me put down my tongue and never make me put my tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me why you want to. Me put down my tongue and never make me put my tongue. Let me get this card Hello. Are you here? Okay. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Alright. <laughs> hey yo, what are you saying, bro? You are spitting. Man, I was I was saying the same thing, like I'm mm -hmm. the original 
guy from my from my tribe. Uh -huh. I'm gonna break it down in my in my mother tongue, which is Kenyan. You know, original mama yang chome kwa njwe yangu You feel me? Uh -huh. So I was just letting people know. Uh -huh. Like I'm the, I'm the shit. I, I can use my dialect and do it. I'm I'm not out here looking for trouble. But if you look for trouble, I'm gonna be on your neck like a knife. That's it, man. Cut that shit, yo, early. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Disrespectful, man. Like, ain't no Boko rapping that in Cameroon. Who's that? Everyone. Hey, hey, hey. Is that what you're telling me? I'm just saying, it was no rappers. It was, it was no rappers at that time, man. You can't be talking about having rappers and then when it's time to defend the country, nobody showed up. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you, man. I think I've been on that topic a little too long, but you knew it was coming anyway, so let's go. <laughs> Ain't no rappers out here. Okay, I'm gonna do this myself. Okay, Aye. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, yo, man, that's the end of the rap. I identity freestyle, man. Out here chilling with my nigga. Can't be. We broke this shit down, man. Well, you already let's know. Go. Let's go. Let's hey. go. You already know. I'll fuck, like I'll fuck with this shit, man. I heard this. I heard this freestyle. Somebody sent it to me to react to it. And honestly, man, contrary to what people believe, when I when it's a, a an up and coming rapper or somebody who's not like huge, and then they want me to react to their song, if I have negative thing to say about the song, trust me, I don't do it because I don't wanna I don't wanna put dirt in your name when you're trying to come up. But if you're big enough, like Sakodio or like Jovi, I don't give a fuck. I'll just say because your fan base is already built anyway. You know what I mean? So I understand. Yeah, and that's that's me, man. So when I heard this, I'm like, oh, this is fire. And then I realized I got you. I'm like, you know, I'm going to just wait. And we just going to do this shit together, man. So that's, that's what I, I do. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, for real, man. This shit is fire, man. This shit, you just went in. Yo. I, you, you have no idea how many times I listen to this track. It's dope. It's Thank dope, you. Man. Thank you. It means a lot to me, man. It means a lot to me. Nah, man. What you're doing is VKA too cold for them. Yeah, big bro for them. When he's on set, too cold for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, what a nigga. Nah, Hell, man. Y'all heard it right here. Y'all heard it right here, man. Y'all need to shut the fuck up and listen to Bar.